Hey guys, it's Paul. I just want to answer Leanne's question about Zoho projects. Uh, and she put, thanks for the video, you're welcome. How do you turn a reusable project into a template? So it's quite easy, but it's not obvious to do. So I'm taking it, you've got a project and you think, right, we need to, um, we need to take all this. This is going to be a, a project we've just done, but we now know that we're going to do more and more projects like that. So you want, what you want to do is say, take this new website alarm and turn it into a template. So for the next one, you want to take all the tasks, all the stuff with it, uh, and basically change it. So there's no option that makes it obvious in the corners. You can't do it, right? So what you want to go to do, so we're going to do this one, right? Let me just remember what it was called. Um, it was this uh, new website alarm RUS, whatever that meant, <laughs> right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on projects, which is where we're already at. I'm going to click here to project templates and I'm going to click new project template and we'll call it alarm systems, right? I do it a lot with security companies, right? Alarm systems template. So now I can choose from projects and it's this one, right? New website alarm and any project overview that you've got in there will do it. I close tasks uh, in the project. So obviously if you've already, if you're going to need to reopen those tasks, um, it, it's only going to take, if you don't tick this, it's only going to take um, uh, add close tasks. Yeah. So basically if you've, if you've already completed tasks in the, in what you're copying over, then it won't copy them unless you tick this box, right? Set your settings, uh, your tags, whatever you're doing, and add project template. Creating a template from an existing can take, so there's not many, um, there's not many uh, tasks or anything in that, so it won't take very long. So now when I go to projects, and if you clicked here, you're probably on all projects. Um, if you click the project templates, you're gonna see now that the alarm systems template is there and all that information has been copied over. So now when I go back to projects and I go new project, uh, no, sorry. When I go back to projects, it remembers the last tab you were on, doesn't it? So I'm at all projects. I'm going to create a new project, a uh, new alarm install, Mr. Smith's, whatever it is, right? Project template now is going to say alarm systems template. And you can go through and set whatever you're going to do on your project and add. So that was just a quick overview on how to um, copy an existing uh, project into a template and then create a new one. So just remember, it used to say up here, new project, new project template. But now you have to go here, project templates. And that's where you can create a new project template. Uh, but as I say, it's, it's just a little bit funkier because it's not obvious where the project templates live anymore. But the easiest way, new project, pick the project you're copying from, uh, fire alarms, template, add your project, and you're away. So hopefully that helped. Leanne, hopefully that answered your question. If it doesn't, um, fire away again in the comments and I'll try to do a more detailed video. If you've got any comments, that you want help with in Zoho, that I can do quick videos like this for you. Fire away in the comments. Come to paulnicholson.com. Uh, all training is free. So you can come, you can join the training. You can ask your questions in the training as well. Everything's free. I'm a, if I log out, I'll show you everything's free. All the courses are free. And then we have a forum. I need to put a link to the forum, which is the Z1 experience. So uh, z1exp.com and we have a full forum where you can also ask your questions and sometimes it's better in there because I can make sure I get back to you. So Leanne, hope this helped. Uh, anybody else, you know where I am. Thanks for watching.